Uh, we learned earlier this morning from General Igor Konoshenkov, who is a spokesman for the Russian Ministry of Defense, that the first time in history uh, one uh, country used hypersonic weapon for destroying uh, a target in a, in a uh, wartime area and a wartime. This is something that happened in the western parts of Ukraine, where MiG-31 launched missile called Kinjal, or dagger destroyed underground depot of Ukrainian military. We don't know any any more details. We don't have any more details about that. But this is a very significant development. Never before hypersonic weapon used. Russia is the only country in the world that currently owns operational hypersonic weapons. So this is a first step. Second step, also very interesting from a military standpoint, it is attacked by the Bastion uh, Bastion missile system, which is which is shore based, and it that system was used for destroying certain communication uh, systems in Ukraine near the town of Odessa. At this moment, there is still nothing uh, around Odessa in regards to to the Russian uh, military activities. There is no uh, uh, land attack. There is no maritime attack so far, but. There is also a lot of Russian uh, Navy ships which are right in front of the Odessa port. So all those things can show or can indicate next step or escalation in which direction escalation of this conflict can go further.